Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you that how we can build AI agents for dark web monitoring. So if you look at here on my screen, right, this is what we have built. It's called Chaya OS. Chaya means shadow. A shadow is the English, uh, you know, meaning of this Hindi word named Chaya, right? So it's a shadow intelligence tool basically, right? And if you are not aware of dark web or dark net, it's a different world altogether you know, where a lot of things happen, right, wrong, uh, a lot of things happen on dark wave, dark net, uh, that's based on, that can be accessed through, uh, you know, Tor browser. So Tor is based on Onion principles. And Onion just think like as a ring, right? Onion rings that you keep on like, you know, uh, opening it or peeling it, uh, the, the Onion rings. And that's, that's the, uh, principle of a uh, Tor browser. It was uh, originated from US Naval Research Laboratory, NR NRL. Uh, so US Navy is the brain behind uh, Tor browser or the Onion principle, I will say. Then the Tor project was open source in, I think, 2006, if I'm not wrong. And a lot of things happen on dark web uh, and a lot of bad things that happen. Like, for example, you know, people do smuggling, you know, they do trade deals of weapons and, you know, uh, drugs and you find out explicit content. Uh, you know, you, you also see a lot of terrorism activities are happening on dark web and dark net and it's a national security threat actually, you know, if it's not monitored well. So this tool that you see, Chaya OS, it's basically, you know, uh, helps the secret security agencies in, uh, you know, threat analysis or risk profiling, okay, finding out threats. Like, let's say, you know, you want to find out what's happening between, like, let's say, Russia and Ukraine uh, and what people are talking about it on dark web or dark net, how we can monitor it in real time and how we can use AI to kind of derive insights, you know, from it. That's what this does here. So if you look at it, this is how it looks like. You know, I built this uh, with for one of the agencies, actually, uh, and the interface looks are different for them. This interface is for people who is watching this video, uh, basically, but very similar, I will say. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of other features and functionalities in such interfaces that uh, these agencies basically use. Now, before I go into it, right, I want to give you a walkthrough, actually, why do we need such tools, right? Like if you look at, uh, if you look at some of the statistics here, 815 million of Aadhaar and passport records leaked on Darknet in 2023. And then 2.3 million of Indian bank cards sold via malware locks, right? You would have seen a lot of things uh, happening. Uh, dark web is the, uh, is, the, is the home of hackers. That's what we say. Uh, and of course, black hat hackers mostly, uh, where ethics where ethics don't matter actually right that's that's why we say it and if you look at all of cryptocurrency exchanges and providers like Vajirex and coin dcx these are on indian i'm talking they were also you know their data was also breached and they were like sold on dark wave dark net and uh moby weeks data a lot of this data breaches that you see is basically in the end all sold uh, on these dark web and dark net uh, websites platforms whatever you call it so that and 26% of global darknet users are have a trace back to India. So you also see that. And 29,000 of LSD doges, it's like a drug, you know, moved via darknet cartels in India. So there's a lot of things happen. And Indian security, I know, you know, they have built a lot of tools that does risk profiling and this, this thing, but they're not using AI heavily because, you know, the adoption is a bit slow when it comes to, you know, building intelligence, you know, so that's not there. So it's, that's why it's important you know, to build such things. So what is Chaya OS, right? It's like a shadow intelligence tool that basically uses, you know, crawlers, of course, there are a lot of search engines on dark wave also. Uh, I'll show you like Tor 66 uh, and a lot of others. I'll show you that in a little bit. And you know, so what it does, it crawls darknet via multiple search engines, right? It's, it's based on your keywords, like you can feed the keywords in the system. And it's going to basically crawl, you know, all the links. And once the links are like all fetched, you know, it will go on each link and scrape all those links basically and get their individual content from those websites, basically the Tonian sites, uh, Onion sites, I'm saying Tony, that's my right. Uh, 
onion sites and then it's you know uh, it, it's uses basically uh, right now it's, it's using gemini model for this demo but in reality you have to use some on prem solutions like the model which are deployed under your vpc or your own uh, you know infrastructure you'll probably be using open source model uh, and everything is running locally like let's say uh, and for the agencies it's not a big deal they have high end computes gpus are available for them and then you can flag threats in real time like finding out uh, you know risk profiling as i said right you can set some business rules or logics and then derive some insights on top of it so that's what it does actually let's go back and see uh, some of the architecture diagram here quickly now i'll just give you a first architecture diagram and then i will talk about this here or let's first talk about this if you look at this right it says tor network operational exit node this is not your ip of the tor it's like an exit node so it's it basically says that you know this this tool right now has connected with tor browser okay if you see that way or tor network that's a better terminology to explain and you can find out exit node and you can see it says operational and this is how it's running here this is how it's running you can see this is where the tor is running okay i've connected my with my system and then we have dark web crawler ai agents threat levels so on and so forth now if we look at this initiate dark web scan here you can put your words or you can select a word that you see right and you can see I've selected terrorism here and I have a number of like, let's say website I want to crawl. This is just a one preview. I'll show you the JSON file in the backend. Okay, and this is this is how the intelligence feed look like. So if you look at, if you see this, it says, this is the onion link that is being used here to show you. You can see it's, it's an onion link. It's basically has a title. And the title is, it says, Silk Road Reloaded Weapons and Narcotics Market. And you can find out the content preview here. It says this darknet page appears to be advertising a marketplace named Silk Road Reloaded that deals in weapons and narcotics. And due to the illegal nature of the content, this poses a significant risk actually. And it, it does not found any image. You can find out the timestamp, the risk level, the risk score, and category also. The AI also cat create categories. Like is it ransomware? Is it like marketplace? Is it like yeah, uh, drugs, so on and so forth. And I'll find out some keywords like here in this case, Silk Road Reloaded Weapons, Narcotics, Market, Darknet. And you'll find out the summary over here. This this says this darknet page appears to advertising a marketplace named Silk Road Reloaded uh, that deals in weapons and narcotics. And due to the illegal nature of the content, this project is a summary. You can find out more insights. That's not a problem. And here you see the system log. It says Chaya OS command center initialized, initiating dark web scan for terrorism. It gives you this job initiations and then this is deploying spider agents to dark web. So it deploys the spider agents to dark web actually. And that's what it does, right? Uh, now I'll show you a quick architecture diagram for you to understand right, how this has been created and how this can be enhanced, of, of course. Uh, this can be enhanced 100x, I believe, in my, in my perspective, right? So if you look at this, we will have a command and a control layer like this is nothing but a war room interface where you will have some dashboards and interfaces for you know the end users the operators or the admins to kind of visualize what's happening so if you look at here this is the real-time dashboard and you know, this is an interface your interface should be better from this of course and you know we have an api gateway here this is all the api is running that you see it's called, it's running on of course 8000 because it's built on fast api and that's been uh, that has been used to run it like through uh, you know UVCon. And if you look at the uh, APIs here, we have categorized this into few categories. One is like crawler. In the crawler, we first have a status to check if the Tor is there, if the Tor connection has to be reset, if we have to start the crawling, so on and so forth. And then we have an analysis that starts the analysis, takes the crawl ID and analyze a single page so on it because you'll have multiple pages and i'll show you that in a bit and in the monitoring you see we have get monitoring stats and a health check right fantastic so this is our chios apis are running on 8000 so this is the api gateway that you see you know if you want to build this in like let's say in different languages this will not be fast api you know if you want to build this in java or rust or golang this will be different uh, in your case it all depends because the security agencies they might use different languages which are legacy like let's say they are not that like that futuristic right for example now 
here we have uh, a couple of things, right? That you see, we have a core intelligence engine, we have external intelligent sources, and then intelligence storage. Now, let's see, once that uh, you, can, you can see it over here, right? Analysis request, then we have our crawler service. Of course, crawler service has to be async in this case, right? Because there are different pages, and it has to asynchronously go and scrap all those pages or, or crawl those information. And then we have an AI analysis engine, uh, basically, and that you can see it over here. Uh, a tone network, this is fine, dark web coming AI provider content analysis comes from here. And you can see this line here, this one actually, uh, this half parabola kind of a semi parabola or half parabola, whatever we call it, uh, kind of a thingy here. And then we have our intelligent storage. Uh, you can see intelligence data analysis reports operation registry and page repository. This data will also be very crucial guys for future model building. Like let's say if somebody, some agencies wants to build uh, uh, some, they, they want to build high end, you know, thing. I can see this is where it's running. It's all running locally. Okay. And uh, I'll show you a few things actually here, which is important for you to understand. So what happens is the moment you put a keyword, right? Like let's say I put a terrorism, it first generates a CSV file. You can see it generates a CSV file with all the links. And these are the six, 15 or 16 search engines that I have been using. Maybe I have to again run it and show you that. But yeah, this, that's what it is. Uh, it uses, uh, basically it uses onion search. You can find it out. Of course, I'll give it, I'll give the link in description. Now here you can see onion search terrorism.csv. So it basically gets all the CSVs first for your keywords. Basically that what, what it contains, it contains which engine it has been used. Tor 66 is an engine. And this is your, this is the name of the website, basically the onion site. And this is the onion link actually. And you can see Tor 66 uh, for this one. And if you go on pornography, you can find out the same thing. Uh, and if you go to weapons, you can, you can see toggle here. Toggle is also a search engine. So we have toggle, we have Tor 66. There can be different things, right? Different search engines that can find out. Now, once these CSVs are created, we take these CSVs and then give it to, uh, you know, first we get it each onion link with their metadata. The metadata in case is the website name and this uh, Tor uh, search engine, my bad. And then we give it to, uh, you know, then we scrap. Okay, then we go and say again, scrap these things. Okay, the information that is that we'll see. And uh, just give me a minute, not in this folder actually here, pages. Now, once that, once that is done, right, it, it physically fetches the, it fetches the text content from each onion links. For example, if you look at this onion link right here, uh, URL, and that's how we are storing, we're storing as the URL and the text content. Now in the text content, you find out the text, you know, for that particular site, if the text is available, it's okay. For a lot of things, the text are not available, uh, that you see. So you can see it over here, for example, it says, uh product available for purchase in deep web most popular products 59 usd card uh, like people do carding also like credit card like they let's say they they load credits in credit card and they sell it on the cheaper rates actually on dark web so you can find it out over here and all these texts are now created from the csv files given a keyword now when these texts are saved in this inside this pages folder now we give this to our agents uh, that you just LLMs in this case, Gemini, for example, right? And uh, it basically takes this text content URL or whatever is available and then tries to generate insights that you that you will find out, okay? Uh, in this, uh, this different types of analysis report and not all will have uh, guys uh, because not all text contents have enough information. So for few of it, it just skips this. It, it says that summaries are not being generated. So the architecture is like that. Once you give a keyword, it generates a CSV file with all the onion links and the metadata. And each onion links is again, then uh, crawled to get the content from each of them. And then stored inside the pages folder. And then those are passed to agents and they basically look at that content and analyze it and gives you the output. That's how that's how it works. You can see our crawler file here. Uh, everything is running locally. This app is not deployed yet. I uh, see that you see here. Uh, fantastic, right? Now come back, and this is a preview that you see. Uh, we can enhance this. I, I don't want to go really front end savvy here, but 
yeah, we can we can bring more insights if you want over here. So this is what I wanted to create for you guys, you know, in this video that how AI can be used for, you know, dark wave monitoring as well, which is really important. Actually, on large scale, we can do it. We can do a cron job scheduler that runs every day in the morning or in the night, nighttime when there's really active dark wave is like active in the midnight uh, mostly. So I'm talking about India, so Indian time zone. Yeah, but anywhere in the world, right? It's the people mostly find time in the nighttime only to do that. So if you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. Let me know if you have been building such things or if you are, if you are somebody who wants to like deploy such stuff, right, for your own risk profiling or threat analytics, happy to uh, work and see how we can collaborate in that, in that case as well. And if you like the video, hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. Uh, that motivates me to create more uh, such videos in near future. Before I wrap up the video, I want to show you our agentic AI toolkit that I've created. This is the only toolkit you need, trust me, to master AI agents. Okay, uh, what, what it contains? It contains 200, almost 200 N10 workflows. This being updated every week. And you will get a learning roadmap for three months. If you are somebody who is learning AI agent, struggling what to learn, what certification, what courses, what projects to build, that is there in the skill builder kit. You'll get N10 workflows and you get some frameworks and methodologies, proprietary tools uh, that, you know, you can use that to kind of, you know, uh, solve complex problems, you know, in the enterprises. So if you're a startup leader and a startup builder and so on and so forth. So get this identity AI toolkit. I'll give the link in description. And also, you can also get N10 workflows separately if you want. That's all for this video, guys. Uh, please like the video subscribe the channel share this video and channel with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one